good afternoon friends today i am going to discuss the topic signal drivers and the effect of delays on the signal drivers so first of all what is a signal driver like we are uh, using the various sequential statements or the concurrent statements in the programming so for each output like we are taking sum and carry for each output a signal driver is created which is assigned a value in a process so the driver of the signal what does it holds it holds the current value and all its future values as a sequence of one or more transactions where transactions identifies the values that appear on the signal along with the time at which the value is to appear means it will be consisting of the value of a like we have done in the previous lecture about the type of delays so we have taken transport a after 5 nanoseconds so the value of a what is the value of a and at what time i am getting it so it will be holding the signal driver will be holding the value and the time at which the value is appearing so for this i have taken an example like reset is the output and it is 3 after 5 nanosecond 21 after 10 nanosecond and 14 after 17 nanosecond so a signal driver will be created for this output that is reset and its value will be initial value will be current at the rate now means whenever we initialize or whenever we start using the reset as output so it will be consisting of its current value at now then it will be consisting of the value 3 at 5 nanosecond 3 at t plus 5 nanoseconds 21 at the rate t plus 10 nanoseconds then 14 at the rate t plus 17 nanosecond now i will be discussing the effect of transport delay on signal drivers so for this i have taken an example that we are having the output as z and its value is changing after certain statements so the first statement is transport 11 after 10 nanosecond transport 20 after 20 nanoseconds and transport 35 after 18 nanoseconds so in this case how the signal driver will be created for that suppose the execution time is at time t so that driver will be initially consisting of the current value at now which is shown here current at the rate now and after this whenever the first statement will come it will be storing that value 11 at the rate 10 nanosecond 11 at the rate 10 nanosecond then the second statement will be executed now it will check whether the time period of the second statement is higher in comparison to the first statement or not or it is equal if the time period of the second statement is equal or greater than the first time period so that statement will be added to the signal driver like here the current at the now will retain 11 at the rate 10 nanosecond will be retained and the sec from the second statement the value is 20 and the time is 22 nanosecond it will be stored here then when the third statement will come here the time period is less than the second statement and it is greater than the first statement in this case what it will do the signal driver will consist of the values in the ascending order of time so it will delete the transaction 20 at the rate 22 nanosecond and the statement 35 at the rate 18 nanosecond will be added to it so this is how the signal driver will be formed in case of transport delay now what are the rules for writing down the signal driver or how the values are stored in the signal driver the first one is all the transactions on the driver that occur at or after the delay time of the first new transaction are deleted means if i am talking of a new transaction and if its time is less sorry if its time is less than the uh, previous transaction so in that case the previous transaction will be deleted second all new transactions are added at the end of the driver like if the time period is higher as we have done in case of second transaction the time period of the second transaction is higher so that transaction will be added to the signal driver so this is the effect of transport delay on signal driver now we will talk about effect of inertial delay whenever inertial delay is used both the signal value and the delay value affect the deletion and addition of the transactions means in in the transport delay we were only seeing the time period if that time period was higher than the previous one so that transaction was added and if that time period was less 
than the previous transaction any transaction so those transactions were deleted and the new transaction was added in this case if the time period is higher than the previous time period so similar to the transport delay model that transaction will be added to the signal driver like in the case i have taken an example z is 1 after 5 nanosecond 21 after 9 nanosecond 6 after 10 nanosecond and 12 after 19 nanosecond in all these four values the time period is in the increasing order so all these values will be added to the signal driver like current at the rate now that will be the initial value then 1 at the rate 5 nanosecond 21 at the rate 9 nanosecond 6 at the rate 10 nanosecond and 12 at the rate 19 nanosecond now after this the inertial delay statement is coming reject 4 nanosecond inertial 6 after 20 nanosecond now how it will be executed or how it will be stored in the signal driver for this we will take this as f the time period will be taken as f and the pulse rejection limit is subtracted from this f and we will be taking a limit or the range that is f minus pulse rejection limit which is your 8 nanoseconds and f that is 12 nanosecond if any time period is coming in between these two like 9 10 11 and 12 so for all those time periods we will be checking the value also if its value is same as that of the previous transaction values in that case those transactions will be retained otherwise those transactions will be deleted and the new transaction will be added to the signal driver so here the output will be current at the rate now one at the rate five nanosecond now here we are having two transactions which are occurring between eight to twelve nanosecond these are 21 at the rate nine nanosecond and six at the rate ten nanosecond for the first statement we will be checking the value and its value is 21 and the value for inertial delay is six so as these two values are different so we will delete the, this transaction and the next transaction is having the same value as that of the previous transaction so that transaction is retained now next transaction is added to the signal driver after this we are seeing the last one 20 at the rate 90 nanosecond here the 90 nanosecond is higher than 12 nanosecond so that value will be added to the signal driver now the rules for addition or deletion the transaction all transactions on a driver that occur at or after the delay of the first new transaction are deleted this is similar to that of the transport delay effect on signal driver add all new transactions to the driver again if the time period is higher so that transaction will be added on to the signal driver the third one is different from that of transport delay it says that for all the old transactions on the driver that occur at times between the time of first new transaction first new transaction means this one 12 nanosecond one so this time period is taken to be as f and f minus pulse rejection limit that is pulse rejection limit is 4 nanosecond so 12 minus 4 nanosecond that is 8 nanosecond so we will be taking this uh, time period between 8 to 12 nanosecond and delete the old transactions whose values is different from the value of first new transaction the time period of first new value of first new transaction is 6 nanosecond and if because it is different from this 21 so it is related and its value is same so it will be retained thank you